Hello my fellow gamers and welcome once again to Pera Philosophs City Skylines videos. In this video I will continue building up the city in which I plan to reach 1 million population. The last few episodes took a lot of time uh, to redo the roads, the uh, public transportation systems, but in the previous episode I had managed to do some expanding. I had reached 75,000 population, now I have lost a few things since then because of all the streets that I had redone and added some uh, new cross streets for example in here because I noticed that my traffic was creating problems and now as there is a cross street here there aren't problems like they used to be here over here I could probably benefit from a few more cross streets but as long as I don't see uh, too much traffic stopping uh, and blocking these streets I won't add any more uh, my public transportation usage is now at about 1,600 using the buses and 6,800 using the metro, so in total over 8,500, so much better usage than I had before. The uh, lines are such that I have a bus line in this part of the city, in this one, in this one, and in this one, but also a bus line that connects in between these. There is uh, a lot of small metro lines that connect uh, these uh, small areas a few stations at a time and then uh, they are connected in between each other because some of the uh, connections uh, go over each other and where they do not go over each other I have added extra uh, lines that will uh, uh, connect to lines that are not close to each other. Uh, for a second I thought I did not have a line here but it's just uh, very darkly colored so you can't really see it. I haven't actually looked at how is my pollution and is it close to my water supply. Yeah, it's getting closer and closer because of the way that this uh, flows here. You can see the arrows point over here and then you have arrows pointing into the coastline here. So it's really a bad place to have both of my water and sewage. Uh, I should probably try and move my water away from here and much farther uh, to let's say up here so let's move a lot of these into this area to make sure that I do not pollute my own water supply and there we go that should be far enough uh, to connect them back and to give them power are they going to uh, receive power? they should and they are excellent they're connected to the uh, water system each one of them excellent so uh, the pollution should stay as far away from my water intake as possible uh, all right, so how's the traffic in these areas? I do have a lot of traffic at the uh, cargo train terminal, but for some reason this cargo train terminal receives far more traffic than this one does. I'm not sure is it the placement because uh, the uh, traffic comes in through here and so it's easier for it to hit this cargo train terminal than for example the traffic in here because the traffic in here can go into the exit and not use it. It's possible that that's uh, the reason. What's going on here? Not enough services. Yeah, uh, you might notice a few more of these going without services because I have changed a lot of the bus lines and the metro lines previous episodes and therefore uh, some of the coverage is now lower for a lot of these buildings and a few of them have ended up going abandoned because of the too few services. In the previous episode I had tried to reach a level up for my offices which proved to be very hard to get. Now uh, the commercial buildings could be leveled up because all they need is a value of land. Yeah, <laughs> interesting. In the previous episode I was talking about the land value but my commercial areas actually needed uh, teams who were richer to come in but now that I placed a hospital here and these teams have leveled up to level 4 more of these commercial areas uh, have richer teams to buy at their shops but now that that requirement is filled they do require higher land value and they want more parks and places uh, with uh, good service to increase the land value the land value is already pretty high in this area and I had even used a polis 
uh, for parts and recreation to uh, get uh, some extra uh, land value here and I'm not sure what else could I possibly do to increase it <laughs> you can see two huge parks here uh, I mean you couldn't have possibly better coverage than this so increasing the land value could maybe only be achieved if I were to actually increase the land value of the residential area that's so close to the uh, district where I have the uh, commercial and the offices but the problem is I'm not sure can that land value beat the uh, reduction of land value that comes off from the industry I think the industry reduces the land value but I will give it a shot so I will increase the land value by using the parks and recreation policy for this residential area as well as the high-tech housing now this should make this area far greener and it is already a bit more green here and you can see it now developing even more it's greener and greener but it is only in the intersection between the high density residential buildings as I told you in my previous episodes the higher the level of residential building the higher the level uh, of land value it gives off the land value is given off by higher level buildings but the uh, commercial buildings end up requiring that increase in the land value so it is actually a good idea to have your commercial areas close to your residential areas so that the high level residential areas give off high land value which then gives off enough land value for the commercial area to level up uh, I guess I will just stick a pin in this and come back and see if this has managed to increase the level of the commercial uh, the reason why I want to increase the level of the commercial areas is because as they increase in the level they increase in the requirement of workers for them and I do have unemployment at the moment 8% unemployment and if I want to uh, expand my city I first have to give them jobs uh, the trick is that while I was previously expanding I had failed to realize that I'm going to have way more teams living in these areas once they level up and as they level up the amount of jobs in these areas do not seem to be enough now leveling up industry uh, could provide me with uh, more uh, places for them to work because if you look at a level 3 building it requires 24 workers if you look at the building at the same size at level 3 at level 2 it requires 18 workers so leveling up the industry would end up uh, uh, making buildings that would require more workers so this industry here if it were to level up as well as this one here as well as this one here uh, specialized cannot level up if I were to manage to level them up as well as these offices and the commercial buildings I would uh, have more places for my teams to work so uh, because I don't want to place uh, more commercial areas here or industry if I want to uh, get more jobs I have to actually increase the level of these buildings now what would they want me to do for them to be leveled up they need to be covered by more services all right uh, let's try and place another metro station right about here and see if that helps so metro station here like uh, just let me see yeah i was using them in this orientation so metro station here a tunnel to connect with the other ones there we go so is this going to help am i going to have uh, more of these level up to level three by adding the uh, metro station because public transportation seems to be considered a service when a building wants to level up is it online uh, seems to be online is it use, uh, used by passengers not yet is this one used by passengers yes a lot of them so they should use this one as well I think I connected correctly so that there shouldn't be any problems so are we going to have level ups yep I would say they are leveling up so yeah if you need to push your uh, industry up to level 3 you could try adding uh, even metro stations alongside the bus stops to get the industry to level up even higher now the trick is I do not have any uh, more of these uh, cargo train terminals close to this industry and they are kind of one of the things that uh, makes the highest boost to their level 
one of my subscribers asked me why don't I place them here uh, but the problem is even if I were to place them here it's still far away from the industry because it's not concentrated uh, next to them like it is here and you can see all of these guys are at level 3 in the uh, generic industry because of the uh, cargo train terminals being so close so I can't really add any more than these two that I already added here I need to find other ways to level up the industry to a higher level uh, now let's see why isn't this industry leveled up uh, again no metro station here so let's add one here alright so is the industry here going to level up now that I have added a metro station and immediately we have level ups one two three four five six seven excellent so now we know how to get uh, even more industry leveled up just place a lot more metro stops and bus stops now I don't think it's very realistic uh, when you look at just how close these metro stops have to be uh, because their area of effect does not seem to be that high I think the area of effect should be uh, a bit bigger for example if I want to all up these guys I would definitely have to have another metro station one being here uh, where would I even put this one I guess here okay and let's uh, see how is this going to affect the industry here is it uh, gonna start uh, leveling up right away because of the added metro stop and these two I think just leveled up from level 1 to level 2 and hopefully the rest of them will uh, do the same although I don't see a level up yet let's try and add a bus stop as well still no level up although they seem to be pretty close to a level up but still no movement uh, what about the industry down here some of it did level up some of it did not kinda gets pretty annoying uh, I guess it's down to the hard mode itself but then again how did I manage to level up so much industry to level 3 oh right because of the closeness of a cargo train terminal so it's really hard on the hard mode to level up an industry without a cargo train terminal being very close by or at least uh, have some sort of uh, street that would lead the traffic to it from the generic industry well uh, if I am having so much trouble leveling these guys up I will definitely need to build more uh, buildings to employ it seems and even maybe end up kicking some sims from their houses to increase the amount of jobs available for example here I could increase the amount of forestry industry uh, move the offices up one step and even add some of the commercial areas and so alright I uh, need to push the forestry district up here instead of the offices uh, the zone a line of housing mm, at least one line well maybe a double line if I want more uh, shops this is gonna kick out a lot of sims mm, maybe I won't go two lines just one alright and so the offices would go here while the uh, generic industry would go um, forestry industry would go here this seems to be open for an office and here I shouldn't zone anything nor here nor anywhere in here although I could have maybe uh, placed some factories here but no I will leave it like this alright so how is the levels here still at level 1 needs only a little bit more service to level up to a level 2 but I don't know what else could I possibly give them 
What other coverage from a service would you possibly need? Alright, so the forestry industry is here, the offices are here. Uh, they should level up also because they are covered by services so much. Yep, and so they are. This should reduce uh, my unemployment and increase the employment as well because I have gotten rid of a lot of homes here. Uh, now, what do I do in the rest of the city because I have the same problem everywhere, I believe. There's just uh, too much housing and they haven't even filled up all the homes. A lot of the homes still have room for more households, uh, more families, but I don't have jobs for them so they are not moving in. Well, since that's the case, I will just have to increase the amount of jobs that I can give them. This area will have to be rezoned as offices. Another few areas will have to be changed as well. Let me just find where I could do that. Up here, definitely. I should add more commercial areas, for example, here instead of the offices while getting rid of this area of uh, residential and switching it for offices alright uh, I should uh, change then the districts as well as I'm changing what is uh, in these areas where else did I do the change uh, up here? How's my unemployment now? At 6%, so I've managed to reduce it a little bit at least. How's my traffic in general uh, areas? Oh, a lot of it here still. Because these areas uh, do connect to these. I really need a cross street here as soon as possible, so... I will add another area of offices here, switch these offices here for more commercial, add another line of offices here, and uh, after this I can have some residential that would be deep, just two areas of residential, I'm just mapping it out so that I can keep track of uh, where these areas are so this would be the residential area so that would be the residential and then after that again I would have offices so offices would be here and then again I would have uh, more of commercial areas and I can have a lot more commercial areas as I do export a hell of a lot of goods at the moment so I definitely can have more of uh, high density commercial areas to spend those goods instead of exporting them. That would also reduce the traffic which is a great thing to do. Uh, now here I can have more industry that would be going like this. So this area would be I think forestry industry. The zones are messed up again a little bit. Something that I will just have to live with. Alright, so this would be the industry. Yeah, these two areas uh, keep being uh, badly matched, but nothing I can do about that. So now I can finally have a cross street here. Although I've ended up with a huge area here without a cross street. Which I should probably change by adding one because I don't think it's a good idea to have so few cross streets. I don't have them here either, and I should probably add them here as well. Uh, let's see, cross street, cross street from here. So, how would this influence? Again, in destroys how these um, areas look like. It's one of the things that gets on my nerves the most. 
this almost looks okay, but this area is terrible to behold. Alright, so that would be the residential area. It's fine that it's ruined because I don't need that many sims living there anyway. But I'm annoyed that this area has been ruined as well for zones, especially since these are supposed to be commercial areas. Alright, and if I wanted this area to be forestry, I would have to add lots of trees here. And it would also have to be a district that would be marked for forestry. Okay, uh, that should be everything. Okay, I'll let the game uh, run. Now, I'm not sure about the garbage. I seem to be just fine, but I may end up needing even more uh, garbage disposal very soon. Uh, one thing that I've forgotten to do is to now pull more uh, bus stops down here through mm, this bus lines. Let's see, I need a blue one to go down here. Uh, this will probably take some more tweaking to fix it up, but as the city grows I will be increasing this network more. Uh, one thing that I do not have here is more metro stops. So I will need to add here some of those as well. One metro stop can go here. There we go. And I could probably add another one here. Going like this. And this one needs uh, these lines to connect to it as well. These stops should go through here. There we go. Uh, that should settle the matter of the connections between these areas. Alright, so public transportation in place, uh, power consumption is going up, going to have to turn on more of these, but I should find a spot to make a new solar power plant, the water I still have enough, switch capacity enough. Now how did this end up with the unemployment, way less unemployed now, and how is it with the export, I think I am exporting fewer goods now. Uh, as these areas here expand and build up, I should be able to reduce my unemployment level even further. They do say uh, they need workers, I'm just hoping that that means that uh, the workers here might not be enough, uh, actually that would be a problem because then uh, they would receive workers from here. As I always say in almost every episode now, I wish there was an overview that showed which parts of the city have unemployed sims and which have employed sims. That would make it far easier to decide where to put more industry. Then uh, going uh, like this and placing it where I think it may require more industry. It's really hard to balance it out when you do not have any uh, overview to show you where you can have more industry and where you can have more uh, people working and where you need more teams to move in. Alright, how's my uh, industries level? Still have second level, still have third level. I wish they would go up a level already. They still say more services but I do not know what the hell would I give them. What's the problem here now? Not enough workers going abandoned. Oh man. Uh, going abandoned with unemployment at 3%. Pretty interesting stuff. 
how okay then I will add more uh, residential areas here and let the teams move in and yeah all of this industry here says it needs more workers but how can you keep telling me you need more workers when I already have unemployment very interesting indeed how's the services down here I have a, a elementary school a high school a university is up here I have clinic one two three that care is one two three four of them actually and uh, how's the police coverage from this station okay so yeah you can see more and more of these buildings require more workers and the residential zones did fill up here very quickly so now it turns out i do not have enough workers even though the unemployment stays at the same three percent so uh, it could be that uh, some of the teams live so far away that they do not even want to come in and fill these jobs that are way uh, far away from where they live I mean it could be that those are the teams that live here that I now simply have uh, too many teams living here in these high density areas and that they don't even wa want to go up there to work but I don't think that that is true I think that they can go pretty much everywhere to work if their commute time uh, is even too long they will just despawn and spawn in the building that they can work so I think it's just about me getting more residential zones well in that case I might as well uh, build up this area here to be residential I mean here I would have more commercial and afterwards all oh right uh, this should actually be commercial commercial uh, more offices here and then uh, the rest of this area can be high density residential just keep it away from all this pollution now let's see just how much of it let's see uh, one two three lines of residential and I will leave this area here uh, unzoned for now to figure out what exactly do I want to put there here I guess it could have more commercial because commercial is I think less affected by the pollution than the offices are Here I can have offices as long as uh, no residential area is uh, on pollution it will be alright have enough power now have enough water uh, these places down here should be covered by services I think they are probably have more abandonment now due to not enough workers yep as expected Hopefully I should have now more workers as I have zoned for more residential down here and uh, residential over here as well. Well, considering how much uh, problems I had in the previous episode with having enough residential and enough workers, it's actually a good thing that in this episode I have too few workers. And you can see here that there is a discrepancy between these two areas. I have way less uh, residential area in this one then I have here I even reduced a lot of that I had here with cross streets and more commercial and industry buildings so I'm still searching for that sweet spot in between how many uh, residential areas and how many industrial areas do I need to have a good unemployment employment ratio wow a lot of this industry is going to get abandoned before I get enough workers for it And it's interesting that it's mostly the forestry. I don't see any offices or high density commercial areas or even the developed and leveled up uh, generic industry going abandoned due to not enough workers, but just the forestry industry going abandoned due to not enough workers. This could be actually down to the fact that they want uneducated workers and they can't find enough uneducated ones 
and the ones that are educated do not seem to prefer to go to work in this industry. Uh, I mean, shouldn't there, if there isn't enough workers in general, shouldn't there be not enough workers for the offices, the commercial areas and the uh, generic industry that's leveled up as well? But the not enough workers is showing up only on the forestry industry, which requires uneducated workers. That leads me to the assumption that uh, I just need an educated population for the forestry and that is why they are going out of workers because it's not the generic worker, it's the worker that is uneducated that needs to go to the forestry industry. The same problem is if I were to use agriculture here, uh, it would I think lead to the exact same problem. I mean I could switch this forestry for agriculture and show you that. Uh, let's see, uh, we need to go here and then agriculture here. Switch the forestry for agriculture and see, but it's going to do the same thing. I mean, agriculture industry says uh, it needs only uneducated workers. So even if I switch the forestry for the agriculture, I think it's still going to produce the same issue with not enough workers as they need only uneducated. Now, they are uneducated when they show up first in a building. You can see here uneducated uh, being as the red color. Uneducated here, they are already educated, some of them. But yeah, mostly uh, the new residential zones end up uh, giving you uneducated workers. But if you have schools close by, they will become educated and they might end up with even more problems to find enough workers for my forestry industry. Now the thing is, if I were to use generic instead of the forestry, that would uh, end up with a lot of pollution, like you can see in these areas. And the pollution is detrimental to the leveling up of offices and the uh, commercial areas, I believe. So again, I would have a problem with trying to, what? Oh my God, this zoning here destroyed a lot of industry. Uh, like I said, I would have a problem between actually uh, having the uh, generic industry and uh, it can get enough workers for your city uh, to requirement for workers, but the problem is it also creates a lot of pollution, which is a big problem for a city to deal with. But then again, I am trying to have a city uh, that has a lot of places to work at because I want to reach a high population. And the only way to reach a high population is to have a lot of places for teams to work at. But that also creates, as you can see, a problem with uh, building up these zones correctly. So. Like I said before, I will definitely need a lot more time to figure out what is the uh, best approach to these zones. Uh, I mean, I want to stay uh, in this kind of an design where I have uh, residential offices, uh, then commercial and then the um, factories. But the question is, uh, what kind of factories do they have to be? If they have to be generic industry, then that creates a problem with the pollution being in the middle of these zones. I mean, the pollution is kept from the residential areas by these uh, zones of commercial and industry, but then that pollution is influencing those buildings and stopping them from leveling very easily. How's the unemployment now? Still at 3%. Well, I think I've advanced enough in this episode. I have actually reduced my population in this episode. But like I said, uh, it is something that uh, still has to be figured out. How do I want to balance them out? Uh, more abandoned. Well, uh, like I said, that would be pretty much enough for this episode. Thank you all for watching and I will see you again in the next episode.